All right, guys, hope you all enjoyed that kind of goofy little intro there. Um, I got a new GoPro 9 that I was just kind of trying out this week before we uh, get headed up to the mountains, uh, hopefully this weekend. Um, you can see right here, we're actually uh, taking a look at uh, the Catalucci Ski Area webcams here. This is up in the Maggie Valley, North Carolina, where I'm going to try to get up there this Saturday probably and hit the slopes. Uh, they don't have a whole lot open. They've only got seven trails open, but they did make snow last night. Uh, what we're looking at right here is kind of the downhill view from the top of the mountain. Uh, their main ski lift, um, they've just got this one black diamond. Uh, I think that they only have two um, two black diamonds all together um, with this mountain that they have here. So this is going to be one of them that will hopefully still be open on Saturday. They just opened it today, actually. Uh, they got a bunch of snow last night. They were making a ton of snow. Um, you can see here down at the base. They're not really blowing anything tonight because it's still 40 degrees up there. And that's kind of my only worry for this Saturday is I really just want to get up there and hit the slopes for the first time this year, kind of get out, get the rust out of the way. Uh, but if we look at the weather, uh, we can kind of go over here. This is, um, a lot of you guys may not know this. I used to be pretty heavy into storm chasing and storm spotting uh, when I used to live in Georgia uh, quite a while ago. But I, I pay attention to the weather pretty, a lot. You know, I look at this stuff all the time, but... We've got this storm system that's moving into the area on Saturday and actually to our west here in like Alabama and Mississippi, some of those areas, they are talking about possible tornadoes and everything. You know, it's December in the south, so our weather down here is, is crazy. So we look at uh, the ski place and they're looking at Saturday, chance of rain showers, partly sunny, high of 47, a 50% chance of rain, but they're saying less than a tenth of an inch, which isn't much. And they are going to be having winds gusting up to 30, so that could be kind of tough for the ski lift. Uh, sometimes they'll shut the lifts down if the winds are gusting. So I'm going to kind of wait till tomorrow. It's Thursday. I'm going to wait till tomorrow on Friday and see what it looks like. It looks like they're going to have pretty windy day tomorrow, too, at 29 miles an hour. So I don't know. It's, it's kind of 50-50 right now uh, whether or not we're going to be able to get out there. It's funny because looking on Sunday, it looks like they're actually going to have snow showers and then high of 30 on Monday. So Monday would probably be the day to go, but I have to work on Monday. So unfortunately, um, <laughs> so that's too bad. But we're going to try to get up there even if we can't ski the top of the mountain. We'll at least have a couple of trails that are open from mid-mountain downward uh, that we'll be able to uh, check out there. And the one big problem I'm kind of worried about too is they're just, with the temperature being 40, they can't make snow. It has to be down around 32-ish. Uh, before they can start blowing the guns so they're not going to make snow tonight and it's possible the next uh tomorrow night it's not going to be cold enough for them to make snow either so we might be stuck with this base that they have right now i think they said it was up to 40 inches in some areas but this this um this black diamond up here on top was almost bare the other day they just put blew a bunch of snow last night so if they get two more days in it's probably going to start getting worn down pretty good but hopefully it'll still be open by the time we make there on saturday uh, plan right now is to get up super early. It's about a three-hour drive from where I live in North Georgia. Uh, get up there hopefully around the time they open and do a, probably do a four-hour pass since this is the first time out for this season. And with the rain moving in, we want to get out of there probably before the afternoon. So we probably ski till 2 or 3 o'clock, and then that gives me a couple hours to get back home before um, it gets dark. It gets dark around 5.30 up here, but the last little bit of the drive isn't too bad. I just don't want to be driving in the mountains uh, through there at night. So... I think uh, we got a pretty fun little day trip planned. We're going to make our final decision on Friday. Hopefully we'll get up there and get the first skiing of 2023-24 season in. Got our new GoPro 9 to check out on the slopes. Uh, we're going to see how that looks. Hopefully that's going to give us some good footage. I did get a, um, a chest strap this year for it. So we'll also have the view from the skis and then get hopefully a different view on at this time. So kind of looking forward to it. I'm excited hopefully to get out for the first time this year. Um, and hopefully we're going to be able to go up here to Catalucci a couple times this year because it's a, it's a pretty good day trip for me. And now that I know there's a place that's close by, if I go up there and it's a good mountain, uh, we'll definitely be able to ski, you know, almost every other weekend or something like that this season. So that'll be kind of fun. Uh, probably going to try to get up to Canaan and Timberline uh, right after New Year's, get up there a couple times next year. Uh, so we'll be hitting it, hitting it back up there. But uh, that's the plan right now. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this fun little video. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you again next time.